So first, let's start with what are known as impossible colors. These are colors that are outside what our cones can put together. For example, you can't have a reddish green or a yellowish blue. These are combinations that the visual system just isn't wired to perceive simultaneously. But under certain conditions, using tricks in the laboratory, some people do report glimpsing these colors. These perceptions are fleeting, but they hint at the boundaries and the flexibility of color perception. So here's something that you can try easily. Let's say that you stare at a square that is cyan in color, and you just stare at that for 20 or 30 seconds. Then if you look over to a white piece of paper, you'll see an orange after image. Okay, fine. But now, after staring at the cyan, try looking over at an orange piece of paper, and you will see what we call hyperbolic orange, which is an orange so orange that you never can normally see that. Now, there are a bunch of ways to see impossible colors. Here's one. Stare at a yellow square for a while, and then look at a piece of paper that's black. You'll see what is called Stygian blue which is a blue that is darker than black. Or stare at a green square for a while and then look at a white background and you'll see what's called self-luminous red, a red that is brighter than white. These are some ways to see outside the normal fence lines of color.